Hi everybody, Coach Keith here, and today I'm bringing you two crazy supersets and two insane variations to push your biceps where they've never been before. Now guys, before we get started, head over to AmericanIronTraining.com, pick up your huge fucking arm shirt. As always, a portion of all the profits are donated to the Wounded Warriors Fund to support the greatest men and women in the United States. Guys, let's check out these crazy bicep variations. All right guys, here we go. Hammer curl variation number one. This is gonna be preacher hammer curls with fat grip. Guys, this is a fat grip if you haven't seen them. It's basically just a rubber sleeve that goes around any dumbbell or barbell. All right guys, crazy pyramid set. We're gonna go 20 reps with the first dumbbell. Then we're gonna increase the weight. We're gonna go 15 reps. We're gonna increase the weight again, and we're gonna go 10 reps. Then we're gonna drop the weight down to our original, and we're gonna finish with 20 reps. Now, one of the common mistakes on hammer curls is guys will grab the dumbbell, and they'll just sort of let the dumbbell ride up to the top of their hand here. And then their wrist will come down and then they'll start doing their curls. Well, now their forearm is not having to do anything. We wanna make sure that we keep that dumbbell right in the center and that we keep our hand in line with our wrist. So we wanna be straight across from the wrist to the forearm. I can already feel my forearm having to contract. Once I add the fat grips to this, it's gonna be an even crazier contraction. Guys, now when it comes to doing preacher hammer curls, Here's what we want to see. We want the back of our tricep firmly planted on the preacher pad. We're going to come all the way down until our bicep has fully stretched. That means no half contraction. This is not all the way down. We're not doing one of these. We're coming all the way down until our bicep is fully stretched. Easy way to do that, if I can flex my tricep at the bottom. When I can flex my tricep, I know my bicep is fully stretched. Then. I'm gonna curl all the way back up until you can see my forearm runs into my bicep. I cannot physically bring this dumbbell up anymore. That's full range of motion. So we're gonna come all the way down, stretch, 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 curl all the way back up, keeping it strict. I'm gonna keep my arm planted on this. I'm not gonna utilize my legs or my shoulders or my back to pull and go like this. That makes it way easier. We're not trying to make it easier. Make it harder, make it burn in that bicep. So all the way down, up, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Once you get to that peak contraction, hold it for a second. Come back down, stretch, come back up, squeeze, 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 squeeze. All right guys, now that we've absolutely annihilated our biceps and forearms with the preacher hammer curls, it's time to push them beyond failure with close grip pull-ups. Why do we wanna do close grip pull-ups? Because that's gonna allow us to utilize our lats to push our biceps even further beyond failure. Guys, as with every pull-up variation, make sure that you go all the way down and come up over the bar. All the way down and up over the bar. Just keep utilizing your lats and it will push your biceps way beyond their normal point of failure. You can try pausing at the top and at the bottom <clears throat> for an even crazier pump. All right, guys, here we go. Hammer curl variation number two. Standing hammer curls to the shoulder. So we're gonna take the dumbbells and instead of coming up just until our forearm touches our bicep, we're gonna continue and raise the shoulders up until the dumbbells touch the shoulders. Why? Because the bicep runs through the shoulders and by Raising those shoulders up, we can increase the peak contraction on the biceps. Guys, these start just like every other hammer curl. We're gonna come up till the bicep touches the forearm, and then we're gonna raise our elbows up till the dumbbells are on our shoulders, and then we're gonna come back down to full extension. We're gonna make sure that we're not swinging our body or our torso, and that we're just trying to use our biceps to raise these dumbbells up. That's a standing hammer curl to the shoulders. All right, guys, last superset. Now, if you're already pretty strong, then you've smashed your biceps and your forearms on the standing hammer curls. Now we're gonna push them even further. We're gonna attach some weight to ourselves. We're gonna do neutral grip, which is gonna be like a hammer grip, but we're gonna use lifting straps. We're gonna allow our lats to push our biceps and forearms even beyond failure, but we're gonna use the straps to make sure that our grip strength doesn't become a limiting factor. Again, whether we're using weight or not, we're still gonna come through the full range of motion. We're gonna make sure that every time we get our chin above that bar, fully stretch the lats, fully stretch the biceps. <clears throat> Guys, and that's it for the pull-up and hammer curl variations. 
Guys, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. Leave your questions in the comments section below. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like and a share. Check out AmericanIronTraining.com for workout programs and apparel. I appreciate everybody's support. Thanks for watching.